So Katy Perry is some sort of sexual deviant, some sort of predator who doesn't ask for consent and does horrible things like kiss guys against their will. My God, she's, she's terrible. She's burning at the stake. So if you don't know, American Idol is apparently back. I literally had no idea. I didn't even know that they apparently ended like a couple years ago, maybe like two years ago, they're supposed to have like their final season, but apparently they came back or something. I don't know. I haven't watched American Idol in a long time, but apparently Katy Perry is one of the judges for some fucking reason. The bitch is retarded. Why would you let her judge anybody's musical talents when she doesn't have any herself? If you've ever seen her talk like during an interview or anything within recent times, you know that she is legitimately retarded. Is math related to science? <laughs> Most people who could be born will never be born will never even exist. So the fact like that- Like sperm. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. Well, then it's science. The rest don't. But where do they go? They're dead. But Katy Perry being retarded is not why we're here. That's a topic for another video that I'll never make because I'm surprised I'm making this one. So what has actually happened here, if you're to believe everybody that are freaking out about this, is she practically raped this young man live on American Idol. It's a very simple situation. All it was was one of the contestants who was, you know, auditioning for American Idol said he never kissed a girl. He went up there, kissed Katy Perry on the cheek. She said it wasn't that good of a kiss or whatever. It didn't make that sound. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. And he went in for another kiss. She turned so that they actually kissed on the lips really quickly. And that was it. That's all it ever fucking was. And there's like crazy backlash for people on the internet. He didn't even make the smush sound. Oh! 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 So Katy Perry can sexually harass a teenage boy and kiss him without consent and people are telling him to get over it. If a man kiss a 19 year old like that, he'd get fired. But she can get away with it. She is absolute trash. Women can sexually assault men. Hashtag him too. So Katy Perry basically sexually assaulted someone on American Idol. If the genders were reversed, not only would there have been a firing, but perhaps an arrest as well. Just think of a female contestant saying this about a celebrity judge kissing her. Not everyone wants to kiss you. Learn about consent and apologize to that young man. That was not funny. It was assault. I turned off American Idol in disgust. Add Katy Perry. Hashtag him to. Hashtag consent. Not everyone thinks kissing and sexual acts are for sport. She ruined his first kiss. Hashtag him to. <laughs> Alright, so I want to look at a couple of those tweets of people reacting to the situation. The thing that probably bothers me the most about this entire thing is the hashtag him to bullshit. They're comparing that to the hashtag me too thing, which is essentially women who are, who have been like sexually assaulted, raped, things like that, but never really wanted to speak out about it, never told anybody about it, and it's kind of how you do it. If you want to kind of mention it or talk about it, you just put hashtag me too, and people know what you're talking about. They're comparing this to that. They're comparing Katy Perry, like doing a quick little like, a quarter of a second kiss on this guy's lips who's never been kissed before he clearly consented to it because he walked over to the fucking desk and he kissed her on the cheek and then went in for another one she turned and they kissed on the lips they're comparing this to women who were actually fucking raped how ridiculous is that like if he walked up to the desk and she reached over and shoved her hand down his pants and started jerking his dick live on air i'd be like you know what hashtag him too but that's not what the fuck happened it was an innocent completely fucking innocent kiss like calm the fuck down people if he was like, man, I've never had my first kiss before, and Katy Perry ran around the desk and started slobbing his shit, I'd be like, whoa now, you rapist. And that one person who talked about how, like, oh, it ruined his first kiss, like, no, it fucking did. This wasn't his actual first kiss. Just kissing somebody on the lips doesn't qualify as your first kiss. Not your first actual kiss, anyway. He even mentions before his audition that he's never had a girlfriend, which is why he's never had his first kiss or whatever. So, in his eyes, he's got to be dating somebody to qualify as his first kiss. And obviously, it's just she was just playing around, my fucking god. Like, she didn't deflower this guy or some shit. She didn't, you know, take his virginity against his will. It's a simple little kiss. Doesn't even count as his actual first kiss. Anyway, would you count that as your first kiss ever? No, you wouldn't. Shut the fuck up. And the people who talk about if the roles were reversed, say it was a male judge doing this and it was a female contestant and they kind of forcefully kissed him like that, would the back eye should be crazy? And you're probably right. Uh, I don't know why. I was talking about this pretty recently in a different video. When the roles are reversed on shit like this, it does it does feel different. It does seem different. People probably would have freaked out a lot more if it was a male doing this to a female contestant. But at the same time, it depends. Like if it's some chick who's like thinks Luke Bryan is beyond attractive, who's one of the judges. There's a one on the right next to Katy Perry. If some chick found him attractive and he did that to her, she'd be fucking ecstatic. She'd be like rubbing it in her other chick friends' faces, whatever the case. Like it just kind of depends. I can see how it'd be perceived differently, but it kind of isn't. 
Plus, the victim in this situation put it out on Instagram that he doesn't feel at all sexually assaulted. And he was glad to be on American Idol. So, if he's okay, I think we're all going to be okay. Let's move on past this. Anyways, that's enough on this topic. Didn't know if I wanted to make a video about this a couple days ago and it was kind of hot, fresher news. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's talk about this shit. It's a little bit ridiculous. The main thing was the hashtag him too thing. That's what compelled me to want to make this video. Don't compare this shit to women and people who are actually fucking raped when Katy Perry just kind of half-ass pecked this dude in the lips for a quarter of a second. Calm the fuck down, you retards. Anyways, if you guys went on to enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the Dashing David. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys. Where do they go? The dead. Give me a smile. Give me forever for a while. Give me forever for a while.